guys, welcome to Brand Next Reviews, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Captain America Civil War trailer, which dropped last night, and uh, if you've seen last night's um, video that I did, well yesterday's video on uh, the Doctor Strange film, the press release that came out about that, I did actually mention that it was my belief that this trailer was going to drop, and it did, so... Um, you didn't hear it there first. I mean, I, I was kind of getting that information from Jimmy Kimmel's uh, Twitter um, account. He put out that there was going to be some big uh, Captain America Civil War news. And I thought, well, it's got to be the trailer, seriously. So uh, that, that was the case. And, uh, yeah, very pleased to see that this morning. A friend of mine, uh, as usual, when these things come out, I get tagged in them before I even wake up. Um, so a really nice thing to wake up to, I guess. And, uh, yeah, really happy with it. The trailer, to me... Um, and I, now I didn't see the D twenty trailer, the D twenty, which is a big Disney convention. If you don't know what that is, I think it was in August they showed this trailer to a lot of people, but it didn't leak. There were some gifs of it, just images of it that were kind of a few frames kind of thing that leaked. I don't even know how that leaked, but um, from what I understand, from what people said and what people how people described that trailer, this trailer is a bit different. I think it's effectively got some of the same stuff, but there's a bit more dialogue, I think, in that one. Um, but think things that kind of grabbed me in this one um, that I can kind of speak to, there was the whole issue with the Black Panther in this. You see him quite a bit, but they don't really introduce him in the trailer. There isn't really any information about him other than that he's just a guy in a suit that runs around a lot and is quite um, you know, quick on his feet, I guess. Um, and a lot of people won't know who Black Panther is, so maybe that's good marketing, I guess. People kind of look at look at who that is and gets, you know, kind of beyond just seeing the trailer, it gets people to kind of ask questions about it. But uh, it would have been nice to have a bit more background information on him. I believe his part in this film will be that he's going after Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, because of some crimes maybe that, that the Winter Soldier has committed against Wakanda and the Black Panther, or maybe some threat that's posed. Uh, from what I understand, that's the case. There's a few little things in this. They don't show Spider-Man, which I think is a good idea because... Um, Similar to the Luke Skywalker not being shown in the Star Wars trailers issue that a lot of people are crying about, I think that's something that they want to and need to really save for the film itself because that's a delivery moment when they show you that. They don't want to give away too much in the trailers. I mean, we've seen that this year with like the Terminator Genesis trailer. Again, if you've not seen that, I don't really want to ruin that, but um, the, the trailer ruined it. But again, if you haven't seen the trailer either, I don't want to ruin it for you. But they, they gave away a massive spoiler in that film that would have been delivered so well in the film if you didn't see it coming. But they ruined it in the trailer. They could have done something similar like that with Spider-Man. Not that, that it ruins a, a plot point, but just the delivery of him showing up is something I'd rather see for the first time in the film, not the trailers. But it depends how it's handled in the film. Um, there were a few other characters. Some people say, no, there were these other characters that I didn't see in the film, in the trailer, like the Martin Freeman character and also Crossbones. You do actually see them, uh, but they are very small and in the background when you see them. Um, but uh, a few of the little things I can really talk about. There's something very interesting, which is uh, a bit when the trailer it shows, uh, is it William Hurt? I always get I always get my Hurts confused. John Hurt and William Hurt. Uh, I think John Hurt is a guy of aliens in it. That's not what I'm talking about. William Hurt, the actor that played uh, Thunderbolt Ross in the 2008 Incredible Hulk film, which is all canon with this. It was a different Bruce Banner, but um, there wasn't really much in that film that connected it to the others. It had a Tony Stark cameo at the end. But there wasn't really a lot of other stuff in there that massively connected him. So it's great that William Hurt is back from that film in this, because now you can watch that Incredible Hulk film and see how it ties in better. Um, I mean, obviously it's got the Hulk in, but it was kind of different to the Mark Ruffalo one. But it, it's supposed to be the same character. So it's great anyway that William Hurt is back in this as Thunderbolt Ross, because that was a really kind of important character that they needed to kind of bring back. And you see him in the trailer quite a bit, and he shows... Um, I think of the scene in the trailer where it's got um, the, the Falcon, Captain America and also Black Widow around a table and he's talking to them about how they are dangerous because uh, the vigilantes basically, particularly Captain America and he passes them this document called the Sokovia Accords now the Accords was something that was mentioned I'm going to get back to the Sokovia Accords but 
Uh, to start with, that was something that was first really mentioned in Ant-Man in the post credit scene, which is actually a scene from this film. They didn't just make that scene for a post credit scene in Ant-Man. They just basically took something they were already working on in Civil War and just kind of threw that in the end of uh, Ant-Man, which is a really great idea. I'm not saying that's bad um, or lazy. Uh, I think it was effective. But they mentioned the Accords in that, and that's what this is. Now, Sokovia is the place in Captain America, sorry, not Captain America, in Avengers Age of Ultron, which obviously came out this year. Sokovia was a place where Ultron kind of came from in a lot of ways, uh, where there's that big fort, and they lifted that massive area, that giant rock, and not, you've seen the film, I'm sure, and they dr drop it, and it's going to destroy the planet, basically. Uh, so that was a big international incident which kicked off a lot of people will be blaming the avengers they're just kind of no no you were involved in it guilt by association you're a threat you're a danger when actually it was them that were kind of saving the planet but then again you've got the other argument well if it wasn't for iron man this whole ultron stuff wouldn't have happened so yeah they kind of saved us but it was them that threatened us in the first place so you can kind of see both sides to this and i'm going to get onto that as well the whole debate but uh, that's what the Sokovia Accords are about. This big incident it's kicked off this whole uh, political issue where something has to be done. These guys have to be reined in by the government. And um, so the document itself, when you see it in the trailer, it's kind of hard to read. You can read the headline, Sokovia Accords, but if you look at this, you can see we've kind of enhanced it a bit and um, zoomed in and kind of rotated on it a bit. And he says on the document, Sokovia Accords Framework for the Registration and Deployment of Enhanced Individuals. Now in the movies, in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the movie side of it, they referred to as Enhanced. That was something that I know they mentioned in Avengers Age of Ultron. Kind of gets other references in other mediums, like uh, I think Jessica Jones at the moment is referring to people as... Um, What's the, what is it? It's not, it's not special. Somebody, somebody says, it's, I think it's gifted. Because somebody makes that point, oh, I hate that phrase, gifted. It's like it's like people that have got like Down syndrome and they, they call them like special. They're not special, blah, blah, blah. That's not me saying that. <laughs> That's what somebody says in Jessica Jones. But in the movies, they've been referred to as enhanced. Um, there's some debate about whether or not a lot of these enhanced people are in humans, which is a Marvel thing. I'm not going to go there at this moment in time. Um, so yeah, that's that's the whole thing about the this treaty, the the Accords, the Sokovia Accords. It's to do with enhanced individuals, i.e. superheroes, uh, having to be answerable to the government. Now, the debate behind that, which is where a lot of people aren't really understanding, you know, the whole Captain America versus Iron Man thing, is that, does this mean that one of them is a bad guy? And Well, it's a Captain America film, so I guess Iron Man is the bad guy. He's the antagonist of the film. Not really, and a lot of people watching this film will take his side. It depends your, your, kind of per, your uh, political sensibilities on this. Because the place that Iron Man is coming from... I mean, obviously Tony Stark, Iron Man, was the guy who um, was largely to blame for the events of Avengers Age of Ultron. The film doesn't even shy away from that. It's like a massive issue in the film. You know, he effectively allowed Ultron to be created. So a lot of that is on him. And I'm sure he kind of feels that and realises that. And when the government comes forward and says, look, you guys need to you know, be answerable to government, Tony Stark is going to say, yes, I agree with you. In fact, I'm going to be a front for that. I'm going to be a kind of um, the, the, the flagship for that, I guess. So... You've got Iron Man saying, look, us guys, us enhanced individuals, or superheroes, whatever you want to call us, we are destructive. We've left a, a path of destruction behind us. We have to answer to the government. And that's understandable. You can kind of, I mean, I don't necessarily agree with that, but you, you can make that case. And it's a good case. But then you're going to have Captain America on the other side who's, well, hang on a minute, guys. You want us to register with the government? The same government that was taken over by Hydra. So you've got his side of it as well that's the kind of two ideologies that are coming together in this well coming against each other in this so some great stuff i mean for the most part it's going to be a big kind of uh, blockbuster thing with lots of action and stuff that's what i get from the trailer but with this really cool kind of political uh, thing going on behind that so um that's kind of my thoughts on it anyway there's a lot of other stuff i could say about this there's a lot of other little things in the trailer as well um 
it was really great to see the, the Black Panther costume in great detail as well. It looked really nice. I wasn't really sure when I saw some of the behind the scenes photographs on set a few months ago, but uh, it does appear that they've kind of uh, enhanced some of the the, the, the detail on, on the costume itself. Um, so I'm really pleased with that now. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else really I can kind of say about it. Obviously, there's going to be other characters that you don't really see, as far as I'm aware. I don't think you saw Ant-Man. He's in the film. Um, there's also... which are, There's Crossbones as well. You do see him kind of in the background, like I mentioned before. I believe there's an incident with Crossbones at the beginning of the film where um, he... Oh, I don't want to ruin it, actually. I don't know if this is true or not, but if it's true, well, yeah, I don't want to ruin it. But let's just say there's a big incident with Crossbones at the beginning of this film and um, maybe some people, a lot of people get killed, and I think, again, that's going to kick off. Look, again, you guys, everywhere you go, there's destruction. <laughs> so uh, we'll see We'll see kind of how that plays out. So I think I'll probably leave it there anyway, like I say. I've spoken a little bit about the Marvel Cinematic Universe already this week, talking about Doctor Strange. I'm going to be doing so a little bit further, maybe be beginning of next week, uh, when Ant-Man comes on Blu-ray in the UK, but say, uh, similarly, so does Agent Carter Series 1 on Blu-ray. I believe that's already out in America, so it's probably of less interest uh, to the rest of the world. But uh, it took a while for that series to actually reach us. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Not not really much else to say, but uh, as, as things develop with, with this, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, for now, I'm just going to sign off now. Uh, finally, I've mentioned this in my other videos. Yes, I've got a tash. Yes, I look a little bit like Hulk Hogan. It's terrible. It's embarrassing. But it's for charity. I'm doing this for independent domestic abuse research. If you want to sponsor me for this, go to the website brandnextreviews.com. There's some information under this video is where you can sponsor me. The money doesn't come to me. It goes directly to the charity through the Just Giving page. So uh, it's not um, any kind of scheme to, to rob you or anything like that or to, to, to scam you. Because a lot of people do that online. Uh, but that's not what this is about. You can check it out. So uh, for now, I'm going to leave it there anyway and say um, there's some information coming up after this about how you can follow us on social media. So for now, thank you very much for watching. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just so you know, for more news, reviews and retrospectives, you can like our page on Facebook, simply called Brand X Reviews. But as well as that, you can also subscribe to us on YouTube via this video. You can also bookmark our website, which is brandxreviews.com, which is pretty much a central hub for everything that I've just mentioned. So check that out and we will see you next time. Thank you very much.